yes and the reason why you should carry your bed is because I know some hotels they offer beds but I've worked in hotels for a long time and I've worked worked in five star hotels and I know there is nothing like proper cleanliness okay so those beds they're there they're not clean you do not want your child to sleep in a dirty bed yeah so carry a bed and a blanket for your child and this makes also for them to feel like they're still at home that just the com comfortability of the baby is very important yes yes and number two is carry their favorite toys okay carry their favorite toys like my daughter she has she like bouncy yeah and i carried her rock chair which i'm gonna attach right now yeah and as you can see it just makes them more comfortable and uh, to be able to adjust very easy into the new environment okay and number three is okay this is in the airport and also when you arrive where you are arriving if you have a baby which is less than let's say two years just my dear like me i bought a cheap stroller the reason why I bought a, a cheap stroller and I didn't go with a normal stroller is because in the airport you know how the handlers, the baggage handlers, they handle things they draw these things and they can break or something and then you will have to feel pain and you're like oh my god they broke my stroller or whatever so just buy a cheap stroller which you can use it in the airport some air airplanes will allow you to use the stroller in like to check in in the plane like uh, what do you call it like a hand luggage yeah like a hand luggage some will not so for me i travel with oman air they did not allow me to check in um uh, the luggage but um uh, in the airport in Moscow airport they have their own airport stroller and i'm gonna attach the photo right now so that you can see so as you can see some airport they have airport stroller some do not okay so uh, in Mastard, if you are coming uh, through that airport, they do have uh, strollers that are free that you can use in the airport. But the one that you have check-in is for using once you arrive in the destination as carrying the baby sometimes. It's not easy, trust me, it's not easy. And uh, regarding check-in, oh, one point I had forgotten milk and food really trust me i had a problem with this uh my daughter stopped breastfeeding when she was four months so she had uh, her formula and of course she eat like a baby food and i carried baby food and milk but i didn't carry enough for the whole vacation and when i went to thailand because she used like a similar uh brand and the food she used nice stuff so i had a big problem because all the milk in thailand they are in thai okay so you cannot be able to see this milk is from one year zero to one year or two years it's all in thai and when you ask somebody to help you translate that's me they they were horrible they were like come on here upwards like all the milk from one year up was like not making sense you know and the food oh my god it was not so brand as she tracks but i don't know what it was like mixed um 
like uh, they put it was meat peas carrot and all this it was so horrible and i'm not saying dry food is horrible i love dry food but that is so horrible it's the same brand but i think it's made locally it's not the same so if your child doesn't press we just cut the meat it's not heavy it's uh the, my like my daughter she just take the big bottle of milk one in a week so carrying two if you're going for two weeks vacation is not a big thing then just going and struggling and struggling and struggling and finding milk oh my god it was horrible and then the part of checking in this matters a lot because it, it dictates like how you're gonna spend the whole time on the plane so as for me at first I carried my daughter's baby clothes for changing her in the airport or in the plane because the baby can vomit also the baby need to be changed clothes after some time to feel fresh you know because traveling is, is very tiresome also for the baby but even if you don't wash them and just change them they feel fresh as I talked in my previous uh, video I reviewed prime class lounge you can go and check on my videos you will see uh, you can check even if you have an economy flight you can check in in a lounge which is cheaper and you can be able to uh, wash your baby the feed your baby comfortably with all the airport noise and all that so just consider if you have some money but it's not expensive i pay like 20 dollars so that's uh, not 20 a month yeah. so that, that was like 60 dollars for a person but the baby did not pay but i had the best moment so you go check that video yay and um carry an extra carry the baby nappies again this is another problem I had because I think in Asia they use they don't use like a diaper they use like a underwear diapers yeah underwear diapers for the baby and my daughter I cannot use that because my daughter it has an African figure so uh, Asian sizes no 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 so they cannot fit her <laughs> and those who knows no african figure yeah so again just make sure you carry the diapers because you not, might not find your favorite right type of diaper in the country you go going no matter how developed the country is and then uh, i said about carrying extra clothes for the baby but do not forget to carry an extra clothing for yourself because this baby when she's vomiting or even rolling and feeding and making you making herself dirty she's also making you dirty as well and you will feel dirty and when women feel dirty they become grumpy <laughs> yeah when women feel beautiful they become happy when women are dirty become grumpy yeah so make sure you carry your extra clothing as well and then during check-in uh, just make sure if you can check in before just make sure you book the bassinet chair which I'm gonna attach right now and you're gonna see how my daughter enjoyed it I'll attach some photos so as you can see she enjoyed a lot she slept she woke up she spent her time there I mean that flight was so easy I don't know why people say traveling the baby is stressful how <laughs> get ready and then uh one thing i have to tell you is some countries you get special treatment when you're having a baby hmm? so like me in thailand oh my god i did not line up in immigration because i had a child i went through first class check-in in immigration oh my god i didn't know business class people do not checking with us cattle people we don't economy class we call it cattle class 
Yeah, they have the only migration where they don't line up. So that's where I was, my dear. That's where I was. I did not line up. I was told to go express to business class together with my husband because we had a child. So again, it's advantage. Don't get stressed in migration. What? What? No. Some countries, hmm, you will get the first class treatment. In Oman, they didn't because anyway, it's not busy. Like who line up with Oman? Like the airport has like two people. You know, as you can see in my other uh, airport review for Salala, you can see there is not even one person in the airport. You can go check out that video as well. And then uh, about hotel. Okay, one thing parents go wrong when they are traveling with a baby is they want to do what they want. They don't know what the baby wants. Okay, as I said in my previous video, that I'm gonna make a video about my daughter's routine. Babies have a routine, and I raised my daughter with a routine, guys. So, because I'm so routine as well, I don't like when the baby wants to wake up, she just wake up. No, <laughs> yeah, so for me, how it works is my daughter is not a morning person yeah i'm not a morning person as well like in the morning no do not bring me like go where in the morning no please if i'm if i'm not working don't tell me to go somewhere in the morning that's how my daughter is that's how my husband is we are not morning people and i respected my daughter for that because we went also to see my mother-in-law and anytime she was saying what time do you want to meet me i said at two from two to ten my daughter will be very happy she will not be grumpy she'll be the happiest person you've ever seen before two try taking her out my dear you will have the worst experience ever so what you need to do is just try and adjust your baby routine as much as possible yeah your baby routine as much as possible. If your baby like is not uh, an afternoon person, try to squeeze in morning to do something in the morning and in the evening. Or like me, my daughter, she is an evening person from two. She will nap from four to six. So even if you're traveling, she can nap on a stroll or something. And then she wake up and then she won't sleep until eleven. So you can party, yeah. So it's good to just follow her routine even when you travel do not think she will adjust She's a baby and then uh, about activities so uh, about activities some people are so selfish they will not include their child in an activity just make sure when you travel with your child you have some sort of an activity like me, when I went to Thailand, I made sure that my daughter took a photo near the elephant just for her own memory, her own uh, in future. She will have those photos and she will have to be happy. Oh, I touched an elephant. So guys, as I said, traveling with a baby shouldn't be stressful. So, <coughs> I'm sick. <laughs> so guys, who people who said no travel with a baby is a waste of time shame on you you don't travel and leave your child behind that's the most selfish thing i've ever had from people and traveling with a baby is the most amazing thing she will have the memory and you know my daughter even when she went to Thailand, she learned how to wave to people she waves like this she knows when somebody look at you well, because Thai people are so friendly, it's all about religion, Sawadika, Sawadika, whatever. So, guys, travel with your children two months, three months, four months, five months. But I would advise you to start traveling with your children when they are six months. They can sit properly, they can open their eyes and see. Yeah, so hope guys you enjoyed this video and hope to meet you in the next video. And I'm gonna be making and thanks guys for the support that you've supported me a lot viewing my videos and oh my god subscribing on my channel i'm so happy and hope see you again
Bye.